Well, this should be a mouth-watering tussle. The defending champions, Florida Athena, at home to Coburn City, who start the game in second place on the table. Florid just showing signs of their best form, having won four of their last five games, including a 6-3 win at Sorrento last week. While for Coburn, well, they're unbeaten since the opening round of the season and last week won 3-1 at Western Knights. Good ball downfield. Mikulic inside. He's looking for the return pass and he's got away from the defender. This is a really good move. There's Collins. Good save. Well, in fact, it came to him rather easily. Oh, he's been dispossessed. And this is Coburn coming forward. De Santos feeds the ball out to the wing once more. And it's a cross. Oh, that should have been a goal. Miletic in the clear. Good flick on. It's away from the goal, though. Unfortunately for Niederberger, he couldn't control the header. Kovacevic. Good angle ball. And they've got behind the defence here. Collins rides one challenge. Niederberger goes for the ball. He's brought down by Feely. That's going to be a penalty. The referee had no doubts about that. There was definitely contact made. Collins doing well initially to chase the ball. And as it came in, Feely already off his mark. And then he just took the legs away from the man. So Niederberger with a chance from the penalty spot. Very casual approach. And he struck the post. Well, the goalkeeper sent completely the wrong way. Niederberger just strolled up to the ball. Was trying to place it into the corner. Not too much on it. Still, it remains nil-nil. That's a decent ball forward. Kovacevic trying to get the ball clear. And he does so. Only as far... As here's Mirko now. And that's a good shot. Not too far away either. Chances for both teams. But at half time, nothing can separate them. They go in all square at nil nil. Dos Santos has had a very good game in that number seven shirt for Coburn. Well, that's going to be a free kick. Well, if that first one wasn't, the second one will be. And the card will be produced as well, I think, here. Well, Bachelor normally takes all the set pieces. Let's see what they can achieve. Florid on the attack, and it wasn't too far away, but couldn't keep the header down. This is good movement. That's Coburn, once again in possession. Dos Santos. Oh, that's a lovely flick. Oh, the play is totally in the clear. And that's the first goal of the game. It's come in the 65th minute. Giovanni Di Bartolo it was, who stole into the area. And of course the Florida fans will be asking just exactly where their defence was. But a very clever flick, and he managed to angle the run so he stayed on side. And then beautiful control to bring it down, and at that point the keeper stood no chance. So, Di Bartolo scored twice before the season, but they came as a substitute, including one last week against the Western Knights. And that was beautifully taken. So Florit trying to build up from this near side as Madashi surges forward. Always looking for that breaking run from Mikulic. And he's created the opening but the defence got back and they're just going to scramble the ball away. Oh, lovely run. Here's Mirko. And they can't stop him. He's still going. And then tries to set up the chance. And Dos Santos at the second attempt. Mirko! Two goals in four minutes. And Coburn have taken a stranglehold on the game. All came from that run from Johnny Mirko. He couldn't set up Dos Santos initially, but Dos Santos got a second chance. Still, it wasn't a clean connection. But it then fell invitingly for Johnny Mirko. And uh, that's his sixth of the season. And I'll have to watch out for it because he tends to score embraces. He's done that twice so far this season. Well, they're looking in control of the game. Dos Santos particularly. And he's got the man outside of him again. Here is Mirko breaking into the area and he's slotted home for number three. 11 minutes from the end and Coburn now with a very comfortable three-goal lead against Florida Athena.
Not many people thought this was on the cards, but they're showing some really good form this season, Coburn. And this was a good finish from Johnny Mirko. Los Santos knew exactly where the run was coming from. And it was a fine angle. The keeper won't be happy being beaten at his no near post. Plenty of moths always at Littis Stadium. Thinking about the shot. Oh, he just flicked it across. So there is an opening here. Actually, couldn't keep the shot down. Well, the keeper's given that ball away. And look at Coburn swooping on it. Oh, it's Mirko again. Might be in for the hat-trick. He's got a man outside of him. Here's Di Bartolo. And it's 4-0 in the dying seconds of the game. That completes the route for Coburn. Really increasing the pressure at the top. Mirko very unselfish. But look at all the time that he had to take this ball. And there were more Coburn players in the picture than defenders. He'd really given up the ghost by this stage. Deeper came out, but nothing he could do. 4-0. Thoroughly miserable day at home for the champions. They've been beaten by four goals to nil by Coburn. A brace each for Mirko and Di Bartolo.